Hello, and welcome to my second tutorial modeling a Pantera in Blender. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to work blueprints, cropping them, and touching them up a little bit to make them suitable for working with the 3D application. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bring your blueprints into Blender, set up, and align them so that we can start our 3D modeling. Now, to do this, first of all, I'm going to delete this square, which by clicking on it, selecting it, left clicking, and erase the object. Now, I'm going to go down here, and as you can see as I move over the bottom of this viewing window here, I can right click on it, it's a split area, so I select that, and I get a little guide here, and I'm going to put right over the green bar in the middle of the screen, and right, or excuse me, left click on it. I'm going to do the same thing here, and right click split area and then left click. So now I have three viewing windows. Eventually we're going to be using four viewing windows because when we get into some really detailed modeling we're going to need a perspective view because so the blueprints, one of the blueprint views is flawed and I will get into that as we discover this in the modeling process. But for right now we're going to bring our blueprints in. So now we go down here as you can see the top view is selected so this will be our top view window and since that's the biggest picture that's suitable so we're going to click on background image use background image and then load so this is not the directory I want so I'm going to click off and I'm going to go to documents auto blueprints and I'm going to click on top now if you'll notice if you remember from the last video the top car blueprint was tilted sideways 90 degrees. I brought it back into paint and tilted it counter or clockwise 90 degrees so it would work in Blender. As you can see over here, let's go to side view, view background image, use background image load, back here, oops, back here to let's see, documents blueprints and side and I'm going to oops, select image oops, so, sorry. blueprints side select image now as you can see I flipped this one 180 degrees in the other direction I had to do that to work with it now uh, I'm not going to go over that, it's pretty common stuff. Now we're going to load the front image. And background image, use background image, load back here, our blueprints, and front. Select image, click that to view it. Alright, now we've got our three images in here. We have to line these images up in order to be able to work with them. So the easiest way to do that is just by comparison alignment, which I'm going to put something on this, the, the workspace here, and I'm going to hit the space bar, which selects add, select mesh, and plane. Okay, so now we have a plane up here, it just randomly puts it on the screen in our workspace. So I bring it over, and as you can see, it's below the car, in the side view and there's a little alignment problem there but to start out with we're going to basically cover the entire blueprint with this plane to do this we're going to select S on the keyboard now this gives us our scaling tool I'm going to hit Y on the keyboard which is another hotkey this allows me to scale this plane along the Y axis Okay, now as you notice, it's not really smooth scaling, it's jerk, 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 you know, segmented. Well, if you hit shift, hold down the shift key, it will let you fine tune it really well. So I'm going to do this and then adjust it. And let's see if we've got our length right. Very, very close. Okay. Now we're going to adjust the width, so we're going to go hit S again on the keyboard. Now we're going to hit the X key on the keyboard, and this 
lets us scale our image only within the x-axis. Looks like I've got a little play left up on top there I'm going to have to deal with. Okay, so I'm going to scale it like this and right click on it. And let's see, move it right into the center there. I'm going to hit S again and X. And I'm going to scale it outward. That's pretty good. So now I've got a little bit of daylight up here. So I'm going to hit S and Y again, and I'm going to scale it up just a bit. There we go. Now, let's take a look and see if we can... That's pretty close. Alright, so within this frame, we are scaled, or we have scaled our plane to the drawing. Now let's take a look at this. All right this view here the front view clicking in this window now I'm going to hit hold down on the shift key and hit the B key which gives me a selection box and I'm just going to come in here and select this now as we can see our drawing and our blueprint is just a little big so it looks like it's centered pretty well but anyway we're going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here in the size box and I'm going to scale this down just a little bit. Let's say 4.8 and I'm going to hit enter. Oop, too much. Okay, so I'm going to click, let's see, hit 4.95 and then enter. Okay, that's pretty good. It's almost right on. Okay, so we've Basically, we've lined it up our front view to our top view now. And let's, you can drag these windows and make them bigger. Let's take a look at it. Looks pretty good. Now, the real problem here, we are going to have to scale our side view because we can see this is way off. So let's see. You can click on the arrow and you can make your car bigger. Okay, now it's too big. So I'm going to go down to, let's see, click on, you have to click back there on the size, 10.3, okay, we're going to have to go a little further, 10.5, all right, further, 10.55, nope, 10.6. Yep, just a little by a little. Ten points. Let's see, ten point seven. Okay, that's pretty close. Now we're off just a little bit, so we're going to move. Let's see, that was way too much. X offset. So we need to go X offset. I'm going to go click in here and point oh three that's very very close okay so let's widen this window up here now we are pretty much scaled to the top drawing but now we have to scale the front drawing to the side drawing along the z-axis so I, I don't really think this is going to be a problem because in my trial runs it was already well scaled. So we're going to just we're going to delete this plane. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to spacebar add mesh cube. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. And uh, I want to see the whole drawing. So what you can do is. I'm using a notebook computer, so I hit the function key and the number pad, which allows me to zoom out, or you can just hit the number pad uh, minus key. The function key and the number pad minus will zoom out. The number pad, or actually, you can just, of course, hit shift B to zoom in around your selection box. Now I'm going to move this to where it is right in the middle here. 
and I'm going to turn this off close these out briefly now I'm going to hit S again and whoops Z okay and this allows me to scale it along the Z axis now once I've got it scaled a little bit I'm going to bring it down like I said it's looking looking pretty well scaled Oops, Z axis okay okay and if I bring it down that's pretty close in fact it's almost right on I'd say yeah okay since that looks good I'm just going to delete this alright your blueprints are aligned and ready for work that's the conclusion of this tutorial and uh, hopefully you've gained some knowledge about how to align your blueprints and set them up we're ready for modeling and that will be in the next tutorial see you later bye